we're on. All right. Hello, Detroit. We're back, and as we said before the break, we're going to be discussing lampreys. What are they? What can they do? And why are they a problem? Speaking of malicious bloodsuckers, Jim, why don't you talk about these fellers? Thanks, Bob. Your wife told me to tell you the kids say hello. The sea lamprey has an eel-like body without paired fins. Its mouth is jawless, sucker-like, and round, and as wide or wider than the head. Sharp teeth are arranged in many consecutive circular rows, and, just like my ex-wife's lawyer, they are completely out of control. The species is native to the lakes in Vermont and New York. It may have arrived in the Lake Ontario with the creation of canals in the 1800s, and from there on spread to the rest of the Great Lakes. But we're not sure. We have Steve on site with a man who is affected by the blight of your species. Thanks, Jim. Uh, I'm out here in the slightly cloudy 60 degree weather, and uh, they don't pay me enough to be out here at all. Uh, I'm out here with local fisherman uh, Harry, and we're at uh, the Lamprey's new stomping grounds on Lake Michigan. Harry, how are you doing today? You know, not so good, Chief. We will be back after these messages. Do you have lamprey problems? Do you have excess garbage piling up? Then here's a solution to both of those problems. Lampreys have an acute sense of smell, and you can use that to your advantage. While scientists use pheromones and other big words, you can just use your garbage. I can? Yes, dummy. Just dump all your garbage in the lake, and the smell will deter the lampreys. Disclaimer, please, littering is a serious problem. Don't chuck garbage into Lake Michigan. And now, back to Steve. That's terrible. Is there any way to stop them? Yeah, actually, you know, they, they taste great. The biggest problem is it's very difficult to catch them. They have circular disc kind of mouths. Makes it hard. You can't catch them with a hook and a line. Makes that difficult. You'd have to trawl out the entire Lake Michigan to get them. Even that doesn't seem like it would work. Thanks so much. Back to you at the studio, Jim. Well, that is very interesting, Steve. We brought in a scientist to determine what would happen if the lampreys are not controlled. The lakes would, will be as lonely and desolate as Bob's house every night nowadays. According to the experts, a fluid produced in the lamprey's mouth called lamfredin prevents the victim's blood from clotting, and victims typically die from excessive blood loss or infection. This, combined with the lamprey's ability to mate excessively, means that it's almost unstoppable, and its numbers are growing profusely, like that bitch. Each of the lamprey females can lay up to 100,000 eggs at once. Scientists, as of 2017, have found the most effective control measure still involved the application of TFM, a pesticide, into rivers and lakes. Don't throw it back. Go on the attack. Stop the spread of sea lampreys. Another solution is building dams and barriers so that the lampreys cannot make their way upstream into other lakes. Be sure to talk to your congressman today or donate to help us stop the spread of lampreys and get funding to do the research on how to stop this plague of Satan noodles. Channel 73.5 News, signing, signing off. off.